Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about the maximum power point tracking algorithm for solar PV array. The maximum power point tracking algorithm is used to track the maximum power from the PV array. Therefore, in this video, we will use simple incremental conductance ampervity algorithm to track the maximum power from the PV array. So here we need a solar PV and that solar PV is connected with the DC to DC converter that is a boost converter and output of the boost converter is connected to the resistive load. So for solar PV we have considered a TCT PV array reconfiguration TCT PV array configurations where each PV module is having the power rating of 110 volt as seen in this window. Here each module is having the power of 27.775 and the number of series connected string, uh, series connected modules per strings are 4. So it will make around 110 volts watt of PV power for each PV modules. So 9 modules are connected in the TCT configurations, 9 are connected in the TCT configurations that makes the power around 1 kilowatt. Here A11, A12, A13, these are used to give the solar radiations to each PV modules. So we have connected here radiation selection is 1 that means this is connected to this port and this is given solar irradiations to each PV module. So here all the PV modules are at 1000 watt per meter square when we are connecting this constant block to this one. So this is the multi port switch. So now these PV modules are connected with a DC to DC converter. Here, DC to DC converter, here this is the PV side capacitor, this is the field inductor, and this is the filter capacitor at the load side. The values of the inductor is 5 millihenry, capacitor is 470 microfarad, input side capacitance, and output side capacitance is 2200 microfarad. Now, we have constructed the power circuit. Now, we will see the control circuit. This is the control circuit for to track the maximum power from the PV array. Here, VPV and IPV are sensed from the PV voltage. Here, this is the PV voltage and this is the PV current and that is passes with zero order hold and there will be enable signal to turn on the MPPT and turn off the MPPT algorithm and this MPPT algorithm based upon the voltage and current this MPPT algorithm will generate the duty cycle and this duty cycle is compared with a repeating sequence to generate the PWM impulses for DC to DC converter now we will look into the MPPT algorithms so this is the MPPT algorithm we have used the incremental conductance and pivot algorithm. So how it works, you will see. So how to write the pivot algorithm? Where we have we have taken the inputs of voltage and current and one enable signals, and this is the output D. So in each we have initialized the uh, initial duty cycle, maximum duty cycle, minimum duty cycle, and delta D change in the delta D, which we have considered as 0 0.03 for these applications and this is used to store the data past data so persistent function will allow us to store the past data and here we have make some conditions initial conditions if v old is empty then we are considering v old as the maximum pv voltage under open circuit voltage v old is zero high old is zero and initial duty we are considering as uh, d old is we are considering as the initial duty now here for the incremental conductance algorithm we have to calculate the power the power will be simply multiplication of voltage and current and now we will check 
to turn on the MPPT algorithm, we have keep the kept the enable signals. So this we have checking the if enable signal is one, then it will go inside the MPPT algorithm. If it is not, then the output will be almost zero. And duty will be uh, 0 0.001. So here change in the voltage, change in the power, and change in the current is calculated. And we have after that the change in the voltage, these conditions will tell about the NPPT points. If change in the voltage and change in the current is zero, that means uh, the update next duty, updated duty will be the old duty. If change in the current is greater than zero, then duty will be updated as the previous duty plus delta d. Otherwise, duty will be updated as previous duty minus delta d. If conductance value is equal to minus i minus v, that means d will be equal to d old. And if delta i by delta v is greater than minus i by v, then d will be equal to d old minus delta d, else this condition will be satisfied. And if this all the condition won't satisfy, and then d will be equal to 0 0.001. So now, in any other case, if d value is goes beyond the maximum limits and d limits is goes below the minimum limits, then d will be always d old. And whatever d value will be there, the d value will be stored in the d old register. V will be stored in v v old. P will be stored in p old, and I will be stored in i old. So this iterations uh, will be coming here and again and again and the duty will be updated uh, for each sampling instant. So this is the maximum power point algorithm. And the duty will be compared with the relational operator and the repeating sequence and it will handle the PW impulses for the inverter. Now to see the waveform of VPV, IPV and PPV, we need to connect a scope. This is the PV voltage captured scope where we are connecting VPV, IPV and PPV where PPV is calculated by multiplication of VPV and IPV. Now we will see the complete MPPT block diagram. So this is the complete MPPT block diagram where this is the power circuit, this is the control circuit and this is the scope for to capture the waveforms. So in the power G block, you have to do some settings that is a discrete type, solve one start tin, and sample time is 1 AP power minus 5. Now you have to press the model configuration parameters, and in the model, model configuration parameters, you have to make some settings. So here the solver is variable step, and type is variable steps, and solver is automatic. So what you can do, you can make it a step and here you can do the OD3 and additional option you can make it 1A minus 5 and make it apply and press OK. Now we will run the simulations by clicking this run icon. So we will open this PV waveform is called to see our waveforms. So this is the PV waveforms, this is the voltage waveform, this is the IPV and this is the PPV. So it is taking time so I will pause it and uh, after completion I will come back on the video. So this is the uh, complete waveform of VPV, this is for IPV and this is for the PPV. Now we will make a zoom portion of the PPV and we will look at the power variations. So you can see here uh, the PV power is having 2 watt of variation using the incremental conductance of MPPT algorithms. So you might get 
be more oscillations in the peak power and peak voltage but you must know about some settings so what are these settings you have to take care of so the first setting is that you have to take care of the zero order hold value if you are considering the sampling time of 1 a power minus 5 and here also if you are considering 1 a power minus 5 then in the MPPT you have to keep the delta D is 0 0.03 so this is the important settings you must take in care when you are performing the incremental conductance MPPT algorithms so for delta D equals to 0 0.03 uh, to reduce the oscillations in the PV power for the sampling time of 1 a key power minus 6 that is a 10 microsecond so if you are considering a 10 microsecond and uh, uh, the delta A is 0 0.03 then you will get uh, minimum oscillations in the PV power and the switching frequency which we have considered is the 10 kilohertz so this is what uh, all about the maximum power point tracking algorithms so if you have any query regarding this you can comment me in the comment sections and uh, if you want to if you want me to discuss on another topic on matlab simulink you can comment me on the comment sections and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much